Personal story segment tonight, a very intense situation in New Mexico. 35-year-old Greg Fultz believes that his ex-girlfriend, 20-year-old Nani Lawrence, had an abortion without his consent. So Mr. Fultz took out a billboard in the town of Almogordo saying, quote, this would have been a picture of my two-month-old baby if the mother had decided not to kill our child. Ms. Lawrence's attorney says she had a miscarriage. And they're now suing Mr. Fultz for invasion of privacy, among other things. We sat analyze attorney Lee Armstrong, trial lawyer who has litigated constitutional law and privacy cases, and from Chicago, attorney Kelly Sainton, who practices constitutional law. Ms. Sainton, for the sake of this argument of free speech versus privacy, we're going to assume that abortion is in play. However, that has not been established. Okay? The, the truth is okay. that nobody really knows what happened to the fetus. But if it was an abortion, this is obviously an embarrassment here that Mr. Fultz is embarrassing the woman, invading her privacy, but he says that, look, I wasn't consulted about any of this, I have a right to my opinion, and you say? I say he has a right to his opinion. I don't say that it's embarrassing because many people are pro-choice and they think that they have the right to do that. They do not find it embarrassing to say that they had an abortion nationally. And I think he absolutely has a right to express his opinion under the First Amendment that whether or not it's offensive and whether or not he like it, he has the ability to put out there that he's not happy. All right, but as you know, Counselor, there are privacy laws as far as medical records are concerned that you can't put out you know, doctor, patient, whatever happens. And this is a medical situation. Now, Mr. Fultz is basically saying, hey, you know, here's what she did, and in very graphic terms. And you're saying that's okay? Well, he's not under a HIPAA privilege. HIPAA relates to medical professionals. He's not covered by that, first of all. Secondly, if she's telling people this, we don't know whether she is or isn't. But if she is, then she can't say that she's got this protected right to privacy because if no, she's putting it out put there. No, but he didn't put that in there. He didn't say in that billboard, I don't know. He said not to kill. That's pretty explosive language. It is explosive language, but it also infers a lot of other things than specifically like what? abortion. What is not to kill infer other than abortion? Well, murder. I mean, the timing could be different. We don't know for sure. He didn't uh, say she was six months of long term. All right. you it's because I'm a good lawyer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. You think Miss Lawrence has a case against Mr. Fultz? I yes. do. I mean, how is that any better if it's murder? If he's putting up a sign that says that she killed a baby, if it's not abortion, the case gets even stronger. Look, Bill. But he, if it is abortion, does he have a right as a man, the father of the child, to put this sign up there saying, listen, I didn't want this, all right? I wasn't right. consulted. Right. I'm outraged that it happened because the guy does put forth he did this because of father's rights. He believes that his rights as a father were violated. The issue here in all these cases, and we see them over and over again, we just saw on the Westboro Baptist Church, which is different if we get to that. The issue here is, is it a public concern or a private concern? And I submit to you, when I see that sign, what you have here, Bill, I mean, look at it. You have a jilted ex-boyfriend who gets upset and puts up this sign and then dresses it up now that he's been caught on it and, and he's in court. He dresses it up in First Amendment How clothing, you know that, but it you does know. not fit. You, well, let me look. Wouldn't you be angry if you impregnated a woman, okay, and the woman had an abortion without your consent? Wouldn't you be outraged? Sure, that's not the issue, though. Sure, it's the issue. It's that's not the, the issue. issue that he's it's not, no, making. Is, that, that, well, he may make it, but he's going to lose it. And he's going to lose it because, again, is it, look, when you hold it up and look at it, is this a public discourse? Does the sign say, fathers have no rights? Does the sign say, I'm pro life? All right, so Therefore, because come he with made me. it personal, Absolutely. you say he's going to lose. The clash, yes, because the clash is between you have state laws that give people rights when they're harmed. Right? Intentional, you said before, privacy, intentional infliction of emotional distress. That's clashing against the First Amendment. We see this all the time. But here, because it is a private gripe, in essence, that's my opinion. All right. Well, well let's go, Ms. Sainton. Do you see the privacy argument here that, that because Mr. Fultz took it public when it, there was, in the counselor's point of view, no reason to do so? I, I, I think that, look, father's rights, if he had put something about father's rights in there, he would have been on firmer firmer ground. 
I agree with you. He would have been on firmer ground if he put father's rights in there. But he didn't identify this woman, the alleged ex-girlfriend. How do we know that it's specifically the one who's claiming that it's rela relating to her, that it's relative to her? We don't know because she wasn't identified. And not the true. fact that he's making a well, stand no, and he's that saying... That is true, Cal. That that's not true. That's absolutely true. It's, it's absolutely true. true. Her name wasn't sign, on the sign. The the not is. that sign, but show up. The other, the, the other sign initially uh, did identify what her as sign? Nina. There was a sign no, before that. They took that down. The damage is done. This was identified. In addition to that, right, this is not New York City. It's a small side. town. Let's just say on this side, though. It, it, she makes a point that because a woman wasn't identified, there's no damages. Well, that's, there are no damages. That's, that Nobody assumes knows who that she, she was is. not identified. If you it live was, in that she town, she wasn't identified. I mean, look at that. that do you think there's a chance that the people who pass on that highway every day in that small town know who dated that fellow? Maybe. And if they did, then it, then she's identified. All right. I'll give you the last word, Miss. And Ms. what's the damage? Uh, well, and what's the damage to her reputation? Of How is she babies? injured? I don't want to be accused of anything I didn't do, but if I did it, then you have to deal with the consequences. That's a big if. All right, counsel, it's very interesting. Plenty more ahead as the factor moves along.